Hey everybody, Ann here, and it is sunny today. So sunny, I had to put my sunglasses on. And it is 33 degrees outside here in Henderson, Tennessee, and it is chilly. But you know what? This is going to be an awesome day. But first I wanted to talk about a comment somebody left me on one of the a video a couple days ago. And it deals with the issue of giving and receiving and being a victim and being at the mercy of your friends. So let me show you the comment and we'll, we'll talk about it. I get the feeling you do not pay for anything in your life. Is this true? So are you at the mercy of everybody around you? If I am wrong, I am sorry. It just seems like you play the victim a lot. Well, that's uh, something I guess we need to talk about. So here is my response. You're absolutely incorrect. I've been experiencing some issues lately, yes. And I'm very blessed that I have people who have helped me. Have you never been in a situation where you had to lean on others? My whole life, I have taken care of other people's needs, helped others in many ways, including financially, and asked for nothing in return. I put myself through college. I raised my son on my own. I bought and purchased my van and built it out myself. I've rarely asked for help from anyone, including my family. Although I feel uncomfortable receiving the kind of help I have lately, I feel blessed that I've been able to get through things with the help of family and friends. Thank you for your very warm and kind question. I hope that in your life, others will treat you with the same kind of warmth and understanding. So, I don't know, what do you think? I mean, it, it kind of makes me feel a little bit of remorse now for accepting the help that I've received lately, for accepting things from my parents or other family members, um, you know, the gravel from my sister-in-law, Christine, the tiny house. Um, heck, just last night, my son called me and said, look, I've got a, um, a wood-burning stove for you um, that we can send down with your parents this summer. It makes me feel, well, should I not accept that? Should I feel bad? or guilty for accepting it? Should I just say no because it's a gift? Um, I don't know, it just, the comment made me think. And you know, I've, I've had, I've heard people make comments about other people, you know, like you see on YouTube. Um, the YouTube community will rally around somebody and go out and do a bunch of stuff for them and buy a bunch of stuff for them or send them you know, gifts or, or whatever, and um, some of the comments I've heard have been kind of, I don't know, negative, that, oh, they didn't, um, they didn't work for it, or they just have everything given to them, or they're playing the victim, or, you know, and sometimes, you know, I've watched some of these videos where people get a bunch of stuff, and I feel, gosh, they're so lucky, they are so lucky, the first, the first thing that comes to mind for me, when I see stuff like that, is what a blessing. I want to go over there and help too. If, you know, if I had the money, I would want to be sending these people things. And I will once I do have money and I have the resources. Right now I don't. But the first thought that comes to my mind is not that they're a victim, not that they're mooching, not that they're e-begging, but wow, what a blessing that there are people out there kind enough to rally around somebody and help them and uh, give them a hand up and and um, bless them with things, bless them with the abundance from their own lives. So that's kind of my thoughts on that, you know? And so I kind of feel, I don't know. I don't know how I should feel about receiving gifts anymore. You know, should I say no? What should I do? Seriously, what what is you guys' opinion on people who are blessed repeatedly by others in their community, their family, their friends, you know? Recently, I've been leaning on my friends and family a lot. Well, actually, my family, they offered. They just came out and said, look, we want to do this for you. Christine, with the gravel, she says, what are your immediate needs? And I said, I'm nothing, you know, I'm fine. And then we, later on in the conversation, I was talking about gravel and I need to get the gravel up this drive. Um, and she said, I'm going to do this for you. I didn't ask for it. She just did it because she's a good, good person. And it's cold out here. I don't want my nose to run. <laughs> Same with my parents. I showed them pictures of the tiny house. I wasn't asking them for anything. And they said, you know what? We want to do this for you. And... Um, 
you know, Dawn, country girl, she's helped me with things. Andy has helped me with things. Should I now feel guilty for accepting gifts or things or assistance or whatever? Um, because people wanted to help. Because people wanted to extend themselves to me. One thing I know for sure is that I am absolutely the kind of person that believes in the motto, give much. I know that you've seen my sign, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time. And I haven't been doing a whole lot of giving lately. I mean, a little bit here and there, you know, a little bit of money, a little bit of, you know, food or whatever I have to offer. I don't have a lot to offer right now. And Lord knows, I don't have a lot of, like, carpentry or technical skills. I'm going to have to rely on other people for that. But, um, if I have it, if I'm able, I will absolutely give back and I absolutely will be giving back and I will be paying forward the kindness and benevolence that have been bestowed upon me. And I think that's how the world works. Not being jealous or being angry or accusatory when you see other people's, you know, other people out there being gifted with things. I think that we just need to be more giving altogether. And for those of us who receive, we need to, you know, like I said, I feel very uncomfortable um, receiving so much. And I've received so much lately. And it makes me uncomfortable because, you know, in the back of my mind, I think, well, you know, I can't give back. I, I can't give back right now. So right now, all I can offer is my love and support and maybe a few other things here and there. But um, eventually, I know I'll be in a position where I'm going to be able to pay everything forward. So I don't know. I guess maybe this message that I want to send with this video is don't be so judgmental towards people who are receiving the benevolence of others. Instead, extend yourself where you can and graciously accept the gifts from others because I know how good it feels when I give something to somebody um, and so I can imagine it makes other people who are able to give feel very very good inside too so I think you know I was gonna do another video walk around today I may do that for tomorrow's video it's sunny outside I'm gonna work on a few projects so I'm just going to go ahead and make this be the whole video. So be kind to others. Be warm and non-judgmental. I know it's hard in this day and age, but if you carry that kind of love in your heart, you're going to be just fine. All right. See you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.